In our last video in the Trash Guides series, we had set up radar according to the Trash Guides. In this video, we're going to be setting up sonar following the same Trash Guides and using the cache option within Unraid. If you don't have a cache drive, I recommend you get one and add it to your server. I'll leave a link in the description to a drive that I recommend. If you had set up sonar following my previous sonar video, then make these adjustments to get it set up for Trash Guides. First thing we're going to do is do a quick install and then get into the configuration. Let's get started. Once you've logged into your Unraid server, we're going to go to Apps, go to Search, and I'm going to type in bin hex sonar, search for that. If this is your first time installing it, this action button here will say install. So go ahead and click install. If you've already got it set up, then you're going to click on actions and then click edit. Either way, you'll end up at this page here. First thing we're going to do in here is change our network type from bridge to a custom network. In a previous video, I'd set up mine and I called it alien proxy. If you don't have a custom network set up yet, I'll leave a link in the description to the video in which I'd set that up. So I'll select my custom network here. Then we're going to jump down to host port one and make sure that the port is available. I'm going to scroll to the very bottom and expand to show Docker allocations. Go back to our port number, double click on that port number to highlight it, hit control F on the keyboard. And I've got three results. The first two are part of the container. And then we're going to check down here and under Docker allocations, that port is being used by bin hex sonar, which is the one I've already got installed. So it's just an update. So that's good to use. So if it's in use for you from a different container, then you'd need to change that port number. So you'd go back up here and I like to just increment it by one. So I'd change this to 8990 and see if it's available. Once you find one that's clear, you move on. We're gonna do the same thing for host port number two, double click it, press control F. Once again, three results, scroll down and it's still sonar. So that's good for me. Go back up for host path two. In a previous video, we had set it. So it is at slash MNT slash user slash downloads. We're changing that. So let's get rid of the downloads. We're going to select data and then for host path three, once again, same thing. We're going to select media, get rid of that. And we want to change that to data. So they both should end up being slash MNT slash user slash data. Everything else should be good. Scroll to the bottom and hit apply and then press done. Next thing we're going to do is go up to our Docker tab. And I already have bin hex sonar in a folder. So I'm going to expand that folder. If this is your first time installing it, then you probably don't have it in a folder. So you would just find it in the list. On the right hand side, you want to make sure that the auto start is turned on. So you find it in the list. All right, there's the sonar. We'll click on the icon and then select web UI. Mine is already logged in. If yours is not, then just go ahead and log into it. If this is your first time setting up sonar. Be sure to check out my other video on setting up sonar because I go into detail a lot more on how it works and all the settings involved. The adjustments we need to make for it to be trash guide compliant. We're going to go to settings to media management. And you want to make sure that you click on show advanced because you want the advanced options. We're going to scroll down until you see importing. What we're looking for is an option here that says use hard links instead of copy. You want to make sure that that is selected. I believe by default it is, but we're just checking to make sure. So now we're going to need to move our media files. I'm going to be using a program called Crusader. If you don't have it installed, go watch my video on installing Crusader. I left a link to it in the description. So I'm going to go back to my server, go to the Docker containers, find Binhex Crusader, and I'm going to open that up, Web UI, and there it is. So on the left-hand side, we need to move to our media folder. Since I'm in the home folder, I'm going to have to go back a couple. So I'll find the two dots in the top, double click them, double click them again. There's media. We want to go there. We're going to go to user and then media. And since we're dealing with sonar, which is television shows, we're going to go into TV. And on the right-hand side, once again, we need to get to the right location. So we're going to go on the double dots, click those, double click them again, go down to media user, then we need to find data, then media. Once we're there, we just need to go to TV now. Open that up. There we go. So we've got the original media location for our television shows and the new location where we want to move them to. So to move them on the left-hand side, we'll click anywhere in that window. We're going to hit control A to select all. And then we can either press F6 or we can click the button on the screen there. I'm going to press F6 on the keyboard and it's saying we're going to move four files to the new location. Just make sure that location is correct. It's media, user, data, media, and then TV. That is what we want. So I'll hit OK. And it moved it. Done. Quick and easy. And if you have any other TV shows that need to be moved for radar, such as like TV documentaries or something else, kids shows, whatever, then you'd want to do that for each category. So we'd just go back a level, find the other folder that you want to move, go back a level over here, find where you want it to go, do the same thing, go into it, select everything, and move it over. It's definitely way faster moving it through Crusader than trying to do it through your desktop. That being said, if you're finding value in this video, be sure to hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. Now we need to move the series paths in Sonar. 
So let's go back to Sonar. We're going to go to Settings, Media Management, and then scroll all the way down. You should have your root folders down there. Then we're going to click on Add Root Folder. We're going to browse to Data, Media, and then TV, and then press OK. And if you have any other locations, such as, like I said before, you know, TV documentaries or children's shows or whatever, you'd want to do the same thing for each of those categories. I just have the one, so I'm going to move on. So the next thing to do is to move all the existing series to the new folder location. So to do that, let's copy the original location. We can do that right here in root folders. So we'll find this one here, which is slash media slash TV. We'll copy that. And we're going to go up to series. So in the top right, I'm going to click on filter, drop down and do custom filter. Then we're going to click on add custom filter. And then for the label, you'll name it to whatever category you're moving. So in this case, it's just TV shows. If it was kids shows, I would put in kids or something like that. Just It's just a name so you know which one it is. Then under filters, we want to change the monitored option to path. And then the contains, we want to change that to starts with. And then we'll paste in the information that we had copied earlier. In this case, it should be slash media slash TV. Then we'll click save. Then you'd repeat that process for each media type that you have within Sonar, such as kids shows, documentaries, that kind of stuff. Once those filters are all created, then we're going to need to change all the paths. So to do that, click on your filter and then select the filter that you want to change. In this case, it's TV shows for me, which will apply the filter that we created earlier, which should be all the TV shows within the old location. Then we'll go up to Select Series. We're going to do Select All. On the bottom, we're going to click on Edit. Go down to Root Folder, drop down, and select your new data location, which is slash data slash media slash TV. Then press Apply Changes. Then it asks if you want Sonar to move all the files for you. Since we've already moved them, we don't need to do that. So just go ahead and hit No. Once that's done, we're going to go up to Stop Selecting. Then we'd go over to Filter. We'd go down to Custom Filters. Find that filter you just had. Hit the X to remove it. And then if you have more categories, you just select the next filter and repeat the process. I'm done, so I'll hit close. Now we're going to need to remove the old root folders. So to do that, let's go back to settings, media management, scroll all the way down, find the old folders that you don't need anymore. And we're going to hit the X all the way on the right. And it's going to say, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. We're going to hit delete. And that goes away. You repeat that for each of the old folder types that you have, being sure to leave the new ones. It takes a bit of work, but it's not hard. Once Sonar has been changed, the atomic moves will save unnecessary reads and writes on your server drives. What do you think of the process? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video and got some use out of it, check out one of these videos next, and I'll see you in the next one.